Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how to take a song file from the Phantom G, uh, maybe a song file like I have here on the screen, and turn it into a MIDI file so you can go ahead and put it in any, any DAW and edit it that way. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, first thing I did is I went ahead and made just a quick little song, nothing special, just a quick, uh, about a 15 measure song. So just a quick song right there. Probably the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go ahead and press the right button. And you see it says song right there. Now I'm going to press F8 select. And let's just call this uh, Ed Song. That's fine. Great. Press F8 OK. And F8 to save. And then F7 because I'm sure. Great. So now that song is completed. Now, ultimately, I'm going to want to get the song out of the Phantom into my computer. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take a USB thumb drive here, and we're going to save the song as a MIDI file so we can import it into the computer. So before we can use the USB memory stick, we have to format it. So let's go ahead and plug it in to the memory port of the Phantom G. Now let's press Menu. Let's use our cursor arrow and go down to Format USB Memory. Let's press F8 Select. This is an important message right here. This will clear all the USB memory contents, are you sure? What this means is it's going to erase whatever is on this USB. So make sure you have something, a, a new one or a clean one, nothing that has important information on it. So let's press F7. Take it a second just to clear it. Now we have another process we need to do. We need to tell the Phantom G where the project needs to be saved. So ultimately we need to save this project to the USB. So let's go ahead and go to Menu, Cursor up to Project, F8 Select. Now if you check the previous video we have on this, we have Load Project, which that's going to load whatever is on the USB into the Phantom G the internal memory. Save Project. This will let us save either the internal project that's being worked on right now, so save it into the Phantom G. But remember, you only have 50 megabytes of space on the Phantom G. Or we can save that project if we opened it up prior from the USB, save it directly to there. Our next option, of course, is Save As Project. This will let us take if an internal project and save it as another name or rename it and save it to the USB. This is probably the one we're going to end up using. Create project, of course, that's going to just wipe the Phantom clean. All the user settings are will be clean, so you'll lose your song, you'll lose everything. Uh, it's it's not an it's not a bad thing. It's it's so that way if if you want to start fresh on a project, you totally can. Uh, most commonly, I'll, I'll use Save As Project on here. Uh, that's a good one. And of course, backup backs up your project backs up all of your user sounds and everything so you can go to any Phantom in the world any Phantom G and restore project but remember when you restore a backed up project it's going to erase any current project that's inside the internal memory so be careful with that one so I'm going to go to save as project and this is going to save everything that's inside the Phantom G so I'm going to press F8 select now if you notice comes up with a window right away. If you're going to save this, save as to the internal, it says this is going to overwrite the internal project. Only one project can be saved to the internal memory. Backup important data by performing backup projects in the project menu. So like I said before, when you're saving as, if there is something inside the internal that you don't want to get rid of, uh, you, need, you need to do a backup or save as something else. Maybe I'll save it as to the USB memory. So I'm going to save as, so I'm going to take what's in the internal project and save it inside the USB memory. So now I'll press F8, save as. We're going to call this project, we're going to call it EdMIDI. Because in this example, we're going to show how to use the MIDI. And this will make sense. For, so I know exactly what's on there. Now you can have up to 50 songs in a project, so don't worry, you don't have to do a new project on every song. Save as. 
I'm sure. And now what's going on here, it's saving all the different parameters inside the Phantom. Now if we remember from the last video, it's saving all the user information such as any songs, samples, live sets, studio sets, phrases, sounds. You know, so there's a lot of information going on right here. So keep in mind if you have a lot of information, uh, this could take a little bit. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll fast forward to the end of this. So now that this process is finished, let's go ahead and get back to our song and convert it to a MIDI file. So now that our song has been saved inside the USB, the whole project, let's go to F8, Song Edit. Now we'll go to F7, Song Utility. Now we see all these different options, but the option we're going to select is Save as Standard MIDI File. Let's press F8, Select. So you see we have two different options here. The first option is Format 0. The second is Format 1. What those mean in a nutshell is how the tracks will be organized. If you save to Format 0, all the tracks will be in one track. So say I have five tracks. When you save it as a MIDI file and you open up that MIDI file inside your DAW, your Digital Audio Workstation, it will be one track with all the MIDI information. Now if I go ahead and spin the wheel and save it as Format 1, now that MIDI file will have separate tracks, separate MIDI, MIDI tracks in there. So that's the one that I would recommend. Let's go ahead and save it as format 1. So let's press F8, execute, and that's fine. We'll call it the same thing so we know what it is. F8, OK, and yes, I am sure. Great, it's saved as a standard MIDI file. Now let's go ahead and take it outside of the Phantom, and I'll show you where it is inside the Phantom. So I'm going to Eject, just pull out my USB memory, and now let's insert it into the computer. All right, so I just inserted it into the computer. Uh, everything seems to be going fine. Let's go ahead and switch over. Let me pop this open, and there it is, Phantom G. So if we look right here, you see Ed MIDI Project right here. Now here's also the import folder. If I had samples or different things I wanted to bring in, I could put it in an import folder. So let's go inside that project. And you see here's the structure for the project. That's everything that's in that pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and go to sequence right here. So there's my arpeggiators, my phrases, my rhythms, my real-time phrase sequences, my songs. Let's take a look at that. There's all the different songs. And if we look at the bottom, there are my songs right there that I did. And if we look right here, standard MIDI file, there is my MIDI file. So now I can take this MIDI file, drag it to my desktop if I want so, so I can use it, and then I can go ahead and open it inside any DAW. So I hope this has been very helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us at Roland. You can reach us at www.rolandus.com forward slash support. It's on the screen below. Take care.